forced me to do to other worlds. You don't have to let Origin control you. Tell us how to stop him and you can be free. We can destroy Mosaic. You can all be free. Yes, but Mosaic cannot be destroyed. Mosaic is not a single place, not a solid thing. And soon it will consume your people as it has so many. As it did mine. We can stop it or it sounds like you're giving up. Which one? We can stop it. You're wrong. We've traced Mosaic's transmissions to a single location. If we can get there, your people can be free. A myth spread by the few who are deaf to Mosaic. I used to think they were mad, but perhaps... Here's proof. A source for Mosaic's transmissions. If we get there, we can put an end to it. But without Mosaic, without Origin's guidance, my people... We will never find a new world. Your people could come here without conquest. Wouldn't be the first time immigrants came to our shores. Yeah. We'll help you fight for your freedom. And in return, you can live in the land of the free. William Carter. My thoughts are my own for the first time in my life. If there is a chance that others can know this freedom, I will tell you what you want to know. To survive See? the crossing, you will need an instrument that can recalibrate quantum Act nice, you get a little bit of a benefit. Such a device can be acquired from one of our ships, which you can find only at one of our docking stations near a Ven gate. Thank you. Once we've stopped Origin, your people will thank you too. Didn't have to beat the fuck out of him. All you have to do is talk to him. Like you have a little bit of brain in your head. Nice work in there, Carter. I bet the director wanted to tell you that himself. Was he watching? Do we even have to ask that yep, question? Yep, he is. He's waiting for you. Just act, you know, civil. All right. Decon. I've said it ain't better myself. Have a nice little discussion. I guarantee you he won't be any, a problem anymore. Watch. He'll behave now. Oh. Grab that. Carter. Good work in there. I'm honestly surprised you kept your cool. Just doing my job. That wasn't my first interrogation. It shows. Having a defector on our side could make a big difference. And who knows? Someday, they might be great allies. Let's just focus on making it through this war. Now, I've been discussing the information you extracted with Dr. Weir. Any clue where we can find one of those interdimensional things? The doctor calls it a phase plotter. Phase plotter. And we know there's an outsider docking tower near a town called Vida Buena in New Mexico. The Silva's team reported it when they were investigating sleepwalkers in the area. Alright, did the Silva report anything else? Let's ask the infiltrator. Hmm, which one? Sounds like I should talk to De Silva. That could be difficult. De Silva's team attempted to infiltrate the structure. The last report from them was two Sweet. days ago. What the hell, Falk? De Silva goes missing and you're just telling me now. Calm down, Carter. We have reason to believe that he's still alive. But he's deep in enemy territory and unable to broadcast. Link up with him and his team. Then you will all escort Dr. Weir through the command tower and secure the phase plotter. Alright, what? Didn't I just pull Weir out of enemy territory? Why are we putting the doctor back in danger? Weir is the only one who understands how the enemy gates work. He's the only one with any insight into how their systems might operate. And no time to train a field specialist. No, nope. right? Precisely. Keep Dr. Weir safe. He's We're going to play our most valuable players. piece right into their hands. What was De Silva doing up there anyway? He was assigned to gather intel on the outsider's gates for Dr. Weir's benefit. And now we're going there to get one of these gadgets. What aren't you telling me about this place? Vida Buena is an outsider transport hub. Ships coming and going from one of those gates, 24 hours a day. So the best chance we have of getting a phase plotter is a place swarming with enemies. Great, yes. yes. You think we can trust the infiltrator? You think we can trust the outsider? He seemed pretty shaken up. If we learned anything from your encounter with this Lawrence, it's that the real problem is their mosaic. You think they'll all just switch off when we take out mosaic? I wouldn't bet on it. 
but as it seems to be their communications network, destroying it would give us a serious edge. Can't ask for much more than that. All right, I've heard enough. All right, that's all I need. I'll have senior ops inform Dr. Weir that you're ready to go. And Carter. Yes, sir. Good luck out there. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, depart when ready. Here's this woman. Weaver. Back from the interrogation? How did it go? No trouble. He was easy to handle. Now we've got our own little stool pigeon. Then let's use him while we can. And before the lab tries to cut him up to see how he works. All right, what's your target? What do you think about that? Okay, that's it. I'm going to get some answers. Good luck. Oh, I can't leave. You're stuck in here. Is it true? Is that car to talk to the spy? Talk to this guy. Looks like you've had a rough time, Crud. Carter. Anything I can do to help? Information. I could use a drink. Tell me you got some answers, Crud. I've got a lot of questions, a few theories, but no answers, Carter. What theories? Anything might help. Why do you think they're attacking? We're hoping the captive infiltrator can shed some more light on that. But right now, we know two key points. They were studying us before they attacked, so they knew they wanted something specific from us. Food, fuel, slaves, something. And the other point? They're building structures here, so it doesn't look like they'll be leaving once they get whatever it is they want. And what if what they want is the whole well, planet? Well, then at least we know they won't destroy the Earth. <laughs> we sucks fail. to be us. Do you have any info about the Outsiders? Figured out anything about what the Outsiders are planning? This is no interplanetary raid by Vikings from Mars. They're building permanent structures. Whatever their reason for attacking, they intend to stay. They're doing that with those seeds of theirs? Right you are. And those things can grow, too. We've got reports of towers 10, 20 stories high. And the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Sure, but only if we can find a way to knock them down. And right, what about the sleepwalkers? What do we know about the sleepwalkers? According to the doctors, they're in some sort of coma. Except they're walking around. And they've got no idea about the stuff around their eyes. 